Whether Klee's been in your backpack for a while, you got her brand new from the patch 1.6 update, just because you want to have some fun in the sun with Genshin's most talkative character. We're going to go over everything you need to know about Klee and how to maximize her in a team party. We're going to go through weapons, artifacts, as well as party selection. And let's be honest, you guys want to use her because she's just that cute. Klee is going to be a close ranged pyro catalyst character, low HP, low defenses. And there's some things that you're going to need to learn about her, but we'll save that for later. Let's talk about stats first. Let's get into weapon selection for Klee. Now, some of the easiest weapons to gain access to for Klee are obviously the four star weapons. So I have perception is a general weapon that you guys may have access to attack percent has an additional damage proc on it. It is very nice and a very basic weapon for you to use. The Wid Sith is a more specialized case weapon, gives crit damage instead of attack percent, which is extremely good on a five star character as they already have higher base attack. And the Wid Sith is gonna give you three different buffs for 10 seconds on a 30 second cooldown. And these buffs, all three of them are fantastic for Klee. You're either gonna get Elemental Mastery, which will increase your Vaporize or Melt damage. You're gonna get a straight up attack percent proc, or you're gonna get an Elemental damage increase for the duration of 10 seconds, making Wid Sith a very nice option for Klee. You also have the option of the Battle Pass weapon, the Solar Pearl, comes with crit rate, makes it easier to build your character from scratch right away, and then also gives you some nice bonuses to your normal attacks, which you're gonna be using a lot with Klee, as well as your elemental skill in elemental burst damage. Now, obviously, five-star weapons are fantastic for a character in Genshin Impact, and Klee is no exception with Lost Prayers to the Sacred Winds, really double dipping down on her, gives you that crit rate that you so desperately need to build a character in Genshin, and also gives you a stacking damage bonus, as well as a movement speed buff, while you're in combat, which plays very nicely with Klee's Elemental Burst as using it and then leaving the battlefield will cancel said Elemental Burst. Then you also have Skyward Atlas and Memory of Dust are both fantastic alternatives for this five-star weapon, both giving large amounts of attack and attack percent, but just remind yourself that Memory of Dust is to be used with a shielding character in your party. So look no further than someone such as Zhongli or Diona. When it comes to artifact selection for the different sets you're looking for, go no further than these two sets. If you're using Vaporize or Melt Elemental Reactions with your Klee and she's the one activating them, then go no further than the Crimson Witch of Flame set. Not only does it increase Pyro damage, which is the entirety of Klee's damage, it also increases the bonus damage of Vaporize in Melt, which is fantastic for this character. You also are going to be able to get some stacking pyro damage bonus from using her elemental skill. The other set to think about here is the Lava Walker set. Only use this set if you're not doing any elemental reactions in your party whatsoever. You really should be doing Melt and Vaporize to maximize the damage of pyro characters, but if you're not, feel free to throw that Lava Walker set on for that free 35% damage at all times. When it comes to substats for this character, Klee, obviously just like any other DPS character, you're looking for crit chance, crit damage, and attack percent in that order. Try to keep it two to one ratio between how much crit chance and crit damage you have. So for every 1% crit chance, 2% crit damage is what you're aiming for there. Another thing you can aim for is making sure that you have at least 50 to 55% crit chance before you start trying to take your crit damage into the moon, all right? You're not doing a whole lot with 350% crit damage if you have, you know, 5% crit chance. You need to work on that crit chance as well. When it comes to main stats for your artifacts here, the Sands is gonna be an attack percent Sands. Your Goblet is gonna be a pyro damage Goblet. And then your Circlet is either going to be a crit chance or crit damage Circlet, which one is dependent on how much of those different subsets you have from your other artifacts. So if you haven't hit that 50-55% crit chance yet, aim for a crit chance circlet and try to get some crit damage subset. If you're very close to it, right, you have 40-45% crit chance without your circlet equipped, get a crit damage circlet and then go ahead and level up that crit chance on the substat. Try to get like 15-20% subset on crit chance and you'll be very well blessed when it comes to doing damage in Genshin Impact. And you'll also be very well blessed and watching your little girl literally burn everything to the ground. When it comes to putting a team together for Klee, you're gonna need a couple of different things. Now she is a pyro character, so you're looking to abuse, melt, or vaporize. The best sort of partner for her is gonna be Xing Cho, one of the best supports for power characters in the game, and Klee is no exception. While his elemental burst is activated, you will be able to proc vaporize 
over and over and over and over again with your Kli, which is going to tremendously increase how much damage you have. Kli is kind of squishy, so you might think about putting a shield character in your party as well. Someone such as Zhong Li, who's also very, very powerful due to Kli's short range. You're going to be just in range for that 20% elemental resist down which is going to increase your damage once again another character is going to be an animal character of your choice sucrose is exceptionally powerful in this team but you can use someone like venti as well those are the number two animal supports for Kli, get Sucrose in there, build her for that elemental mastery to increase the melt or the vaporized damage that you are doing with Kli. These are some of the best characters you can use. There's many ones that you can make work in Genshin, but these are the best of the best to really sort of get all of the damage and all the utility you can out of your Kli. Now we're gonna be touching on some secret, super awesome Kli techs you really need to utilize to make her go the extra mile and the extra distance and remove that clunkiness and that awkwardness from her kit. The easiest one here is the jump cancel. So all this one is, you use your normal attack. As soon as the bomb is in the air, you are free to jump anywhere. This will take you out of that lock from that normal attack combo. And you'll also be able to move around and dodge any projectiles or attacks with your jump, which is very useful with a short range low hp low defense character like Kali. but the fun doesn't end there you can also just chain infinitely normal attacks into each other to pull this one off do a normal attack hold the directional key and then as soon as the book dissipates the a weapon that she's equipped turns into gold you can go ahead and use normal attack again you can do this this is called the Klee chain gun method and this is one of the things you really want to sort of master you can do this on any different platform pc mobile console whatever it is and this is going to be a very fantastic move to master with Klee because normally her normal attack one two three chain is very slow this speeds it up a ton Another animation cancel that you can utilize is the normal attack into charge attack animation cancel, which is very nice because it plays well with some of Cleve's ascensions. To do this one, you just normal attack and then hold your attack button. So you press and then hold right away and this will make her animation cancel right into her charge attack afterwards. This can be then animation canceled with her normal attack style animation cancel, which TLDR to do that, you would attack then hold, use your charge attack while having a key press in any direction. And as you start moving or about to move, go ahead and normal attack again. Klee can be very punishing to play due to mastering all of these animation cancels, but it is really the thing that removes the clunkiness and the awkwardness from her kit. So if you are having fun with her, you want to give her that extra oomph. You want to have that extra little playstyle pizzazz in your account. Feel free to go ahead and try to master these techniques. Plus. It gives you something to do, so go ahead and do it. You'll have fun, trust me. With all of this knowledge, now you are fully prepared to make use of Klee in Genshin Impact to her full utilization, guys. If you wanna see more stuff on Genshin Impact, future characters 1.6, etc. cetera, come on back, hit that subscribe button, get notifications for up to five, six, sometimes seven when it's really popping out here, actual fun Genshin Impact videos each week. If you want to see that, I'll see you guys there. Until then, have fun and I'll see you in the next one.